An intense search why two homes owned by entertainment mogul Sean Diddy Combs were raided by the feds. Plus, shopping on a budget. Ideas to fill your Easter basket all under $10. Hello, everyone. You're watching The Rundown. I'm Robin Winston. A big development in the explosive allegations against rapper Sean Diddy Combs. Two of his homes were raided by federal authorities, one in L.A. in Holmby Hills. You can see federal law enforcement officers at his home on Mapleton Drive Monday. A similar scene played out at his home in Florida. The 54-year-old music mogul has been embroiled in a legal firestorm. Multiple civil lawsuits allege sexual assault, abuse, harassment, forced drugging and distributing illegal firearms and narcotics. His lawyer has previously denied the allegations. Here's Austin Brown with the LA Times. The civil suits did a lot of damage to his music and reputation, but, uh, but this is a whole new tier of, uh, of danger that he's in right now. Representatives for Combs have not responded to our request for comment. Dodger superstar Shohei Otani is denying any involvement in the sports betting scandal surrounding his former interpreter. Otani says Ipe Mizuhara was stealing from him to pay off his gambling debts. At a press conference, a two-time MVP read a statement that was translated by the team's manager of performance operations. So I never bet on baseball or any other sports or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. Uh, and I have never uh, went through a bookmaker uh, to bet on sports. And these headlines were on the minds of fans during the preseason game against Otani's former team, the LA Angels, where they lost 6-0. to zero. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like he might have not known. But it's also like, you know, how are you not going to know what's going on? The game was pretty horrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. We're a bad game for the Dodgers, so come, come on, on now. Think blue. That's all yeah, we got to think about. Yeah, come on now. It. I'm ready for showtime, though. I'm excited. <laughs> the Dodgers host their home opener this Thursday against the St. Louis Cardinals. Workers at nearly three dozen local hotels say they're finally getting what they want after months of striking. The Unite Here Local 11 Union says workers have approved a new contract that achieves every goal on their list. That includes a $10 an hour wage increase over the course of the contract and increased benefits. The new contract is good through January 2028, giving workers the ability to renegotiate ahead of the Olympic Games here in L.A. The low wage forced me out of Los Angeles, but this doesn't have to keep happening to others. The wage raise will give me peace of mind. It means I don't have to put in extra hours to make ends meet. The union stresses there is still work to be done at other hotels, including Hotel Figueroa and the L.A. Grand. It's time to check in with meteorologist Belinda De Leon. She's tracking some changes in your forecast. Hi everyone, here's what I'm tracking in your forecast. The warm weather is expected to last through Wednesday with several cities hitting the 70s. But late this week, goodbye 70s. Temperatures start coming down, onshore flow increases, the marine layer returns, changes ahead of our next storm system expected to arrive Friday and last through the weekend. That's right, our Easter could be chilly with a chance for some thunderstorms. So here's what I'm tracking for you. Yet another Pacific storm expected, but this time around it's going to impact our holiday so the Easter Bunny might have to come with an umbrella and a parka. There's a chance for rain, thunderstorms, gusty winds, mountain snow, chilly temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Now the exact track of the system still uncertain. That'll help us determine the timing and amount. So stay tuned. We'll continue to provide you updates. Coast Guard boats and rescue crews are searching for several who are believed to have fallen into the water in the Baltimore Harbor. It happened when a huge container ship crashed right into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing most of the structure to collapse. The moments of the ship's impact and the bridge's collapse were caught on camera. The cargo ship hit the bridge just before 10.30 Monday night, and you can see the bridge just crumble right into the water. It's unclear why the crash happened, but investigators say they do not believe there was any nefarious intent. All we know about the vessel at this point is that it's sailing under Singapore's flag and was bound for Sri Lanka. 
LAUSD announced its first permanent supportive housing community for district families who are experiencing homelessness. LAUSD officials celebrated the grand opening of Sun King Apartments in Sun Valley. It's all part of a partnership with the nonprofit developer Mini Mansions. The complex now includes 25 permanent homes for district families who've been struggling. It offers them a community space, on-site laundry, and a community garden. Homelessness in our community is not decreasing, it is increasing at all age groups. One would easily assume that there are so many families and so many unaccompanied teenagers who are probably couch surfing, who are living in substandard conditions. Superintendent Carvalho says this project is just the first of many potential housing options to help house district families. Surprising new numbers show home sales are surging in the U.S. after high mortgage rates slowed the market for months. So what's behind the new real estate comeback? NBC's David Noriega reports. After many sluggish months, an unexpected surge in home sales. It was kind of a fresh breath of air for us in the real estate community and, and definitely caught us off guard. So Tom Hernandez is a realtor in Los Angeles. He says after two years of scarce listings, the market is finally loosening up. My production's probably almost doubled since the beginning of the year, both buyers and sellers. Sales of existing homes rising 9.5% nationwide in February, the largest month-to-month -month increase in a year. In the Western U.S., home sales skyrocketing 16.4%. This comes even as home prices continue to rise, and mortgage rates, though lower than their peak last year, remain stubbornly high. Trying to see mortgage rates of 3%, 4% is out of the question. 5%, I think it's hard pressed to get there, but I think consumers are understanding that 6%, 7% are the new normal, and they're just looking for more choices. So what's behind the surprise heat in the market? For one thing, inventory is up. For a couple of years now, people have avoided putting their homes on the market because they wanted to hang on to their super low interest rates. But those rates have softened slightly and life happens. People need to move, so that's starting to change. Newly renovated kitchen, all the appliances stay. For home buyers, those who can brave the high prices, it's nice to have options. I'm looking for a property to purchase. So recently I see that there is more inventory in the market. The big question now is, is this a momentary surge or will the spring bring even more of a thaw to the housing market? David Noriega, NBC News, Los Angeles. California students will have a little more time to apply for financial aid. The deadline to apply for state scholarships is being pushed back by a month from April 2nd to May 2nd. That's because there have been a lot of problems with the federal program used to calculate scholarships and loans. There's a new system that was supposed to make FAFSA simpler. FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. But that new system has had glitches and errors leading to delays for students who need help paying for college. Southwest Airlines is making it easier to travel with a buddy. They're running a promotion that lets Rapid Rewards members earn a companion pass. So with the pass, travelers can bring a designated friend with them for free. Now, typically to earn a companion pass, frequent flyers have to accumulate 100 one-way flights in a year or earn 135,000 points. But with a new promotion, all you have to do to qualify is register on Southwest website and buy one round trip ticket or two one-way flights. Those tickets must be purchased by Wednesday and then your companion flies free with you anytime between August 5th and October 2nd of this year. You can change your designated companion up to three times. The Hollywood Hills home where the late Bob Barker lived is on the market now. The Price is Right host to lived here for more than 50 years. Zillow posted these photos. The Spanish colonial home has six bedrooms and six bathrooms. It has several stained glass windows and a pool. The asking price is about $3 million. Barker bought the home back in 1969 and he stayed there until he passed away last year at the age of 99. If you're looking for a little inspiration to fill those Easter baskets, Amazon has a ton of deals right now, and most of them are for the kiddos, but there are some for adults too. We picked four from the site's spring sale, so we'll go most expensive to least, starting with a Creative Monsters building toy set from Lego. That's $9.99. You've also got Easter coloring books for $8.99, an adorable stuffed animal, a fox for just $7.99, and you can also get a two-pack of EOS Strawberry Sorbet Lip Balm for just four bucks. Some of those prices are marked down too. Happy or should we say hoppy shopping.
Sonic is getting ready for next month's solar eclipse with a new drink that comes with a handy accessory. The chain has just unveiled its blackout slush float. It's pitch black and said to taste like cotton candy and dragon fruit. The float is topped with soft serve and blue and purple sprinkles, but that's not all. Everybody who purchases the blackout slush float will actually get a pair of solar eclipse viewing glasses. Sonic says the glasses have been approved for short-term direct observation of the eclipse. The celestial phenomenon will happen on April 8th. Some local students are getting surprised with a huge scholarship, $50,000. Hannah Chu got the big news Monday. She's a student at Valencia High School in Placentia. We're being awarded one of Edison International's STEM scholarships, $50,000. Ah, congratulations. Hannah applied for the scholarship from Edison International, but she had no idea this moment was coming. The scholarship is for the STEM students, science, technology, engineering, and math. Hannah plans to study chemical engineering. Jordan Ariano was also surprised Monday with a $50,000 scholarship. The big check was presented to him at his high school, Centennial High in Compton. He plans to major in computer science. And then we have Eileen Lynn. She's heading to college with an extra $50,000. She's a senior at Eleanor Roosevelt in Eastvale and wants to study space exploration. Well deserved. Lots of hard work went into that. You can always get news and weather updates on the NBCLA app and our website, NBCLA.com. And be sure to tune into Today in LA on NBC4 weekdays, 4 to 7 a.m. I'll be helping you get around with traffic reports throughout the morning.